So our new DS-718 Plus NAS is finally here. And today's mission is to verify that not only does the unit see 16 gigabytes of RAM, but that it actually can utilize it and read from it error-free so we know that it's a stable configuration. So I've seen some videos out there showing us that the unit can detect 16 gigs of RAM, but that's not really the question, is it? The question is, is it stable? Can it actually utilize the 16 gigs of RAM? And that's what this video is about. So let's take a look at how this 16 gigabyte RAM configuration is not only readable by the operating system, but is also addressable and able to be read from error free. Okay, so here we have our Synology DS718 Plus fresh out of the box. Here, we have a look from this angle. And we've got two bays, right? So the first thing we're going to do is release our bay. Number one, take that out, put it aside. Number two, take it out, put it aside. Okay, so once you get those two bays pulled out, you'll see on the right side, where my finger's pointing there, is an empty RAM slot. And then above it, on the top is a RAM module. So that's the stock RAM module that comes with the unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out now. And you're gonna to have to reach in there in order to get it. You just release one latch at a time. So here we have the RAM that came with the unit. And you can see it's a two gigabyte module, puny stick, and that's what we're here for, to replace this. So let's get to it. So I've done considerable research, and based on what I've read, and the different accounts from many different sources. There's really only two memory kits that work reliably when you're going for 16 gigabytes in one of these Synology NAS units. Let's go ahead and pop both of these modules in. I'm going to start with the one in the front, the easy one. This one gets oriented this way. As you can see, both modules are installed now, one in the front, one in the back. So what I'm going to do for this video is to take this old laptop hard drive and just for the purposes of this video, utilize this um, with a temporary operating system install. And I'll see you at the command prompt. Okay, so here we are logged into our test OS install on that laptop drive I showed you before. Uh, you can see status is good. Now if we go to our resource monitor, and we go to memory, you can see right away that the system sees 16 gigabytes of RAM. And we know the system can detect 16 gigs of RAM because we've seen it in other videos. What we're concerned with is that the system can actually utilize that 16 gigs of RAM stably. So let's get started on that. I downloaded some custom code and compiled it. It's designed to specifically for this Intel Celeron processor within this DS718 NAS to address one gigabyte at a time of RAM up to the limit you specify in the command prompt. So what we're going to do is run this utility and lock as much RAM as we can and we'll go from there. Fourteen stands for fourteen gigabytes. As you can see over here, used is going up in correlation with the utility. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up now so you don't have to sit here for the next minute while this allocates 14 gigs of RAM. And as you can see, it's allocated, locked, and verified 14 gigs of RAM, which is just about the max we can allocate before running into problems conflicting with reserved and other allocated RAM by the operating system. And you can see now everything's been freed up, dropped all the way back down to the bottom. Free is now 14.9 of the 16. Now just for fun, let's see if we can do 15. And if it can't lock the full 15, you'll get an error. Uh, but let's try it. Really push this thing. Okay, well there you have it a second time, this time up to 15 gigs with only 150 megs free of RAM. Impressive. So as we were able to see, the 16 gigabytes of RAM was in fact addressable and able to be read from error free. I've been running 16 gigs of RAM in this NAS for some time now, and I've been running completely error free, 100% stable. 
I just want to reiterate that there's many different memory kits that can be used in this NAS to get to 16 gigabytes. However, there's mixed reports on stability and usability with these kits. The kit I used, I've tested personally using this utility and it works completely bulletproof. I've had no problems whatsoever so far. I'll link in the description to the kit I used in this video as well as the other kit others seem to have success with, although I haven't personally tested it. Uh, those links will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. Also, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Each and every one of those subscriptions helps us grow this channel and we really appreciate them. Much more to come from Mods and Projects. Thank you.